a man who has uh, served in that theater and uh, done so there and elsewhere with great distinction in the uniform of the United States Air Force is our next presenter. Um, Lieutenant General Tom McInerney uh, rose through the ranks to become the Assistant Chief of the United States Air Force. Um, he has been a business leader, he's been a prolific commentator um, on Fox News and elsewhere about the national security issues of our time, um, an author, and um, I think his voice really needs to be heard, most especially on the topic we've asked him to address today, which is another threat vector from China. You've heard others touch on it, but um, Tom McInerney is going to talk a little bit about the theft of our technology. General, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Frank, and thanks for your leadership on the Leadership uh, Committee on Present Danger. It is extremely important. China has taken the gloves off its theft of U.S. technology secrets. There's no doubt about that. Beijing, over the last two years, has significantly ramped up its economic espionage in hacking, and it is taking place after a marked increase in such activity during the last two years. It cuts across commercial technology and intellectual property, from jet engines to genetically modified rice. As relations between China and the Trump administration have grown more acrimonious under President Trump's bold leadership, who has finally said, we will no longer accept this theft of U.S. technology and intellectual property, finally. They want technology by hook or crook, and they want it now they have taken the gloves off, and they don't care if they get caught or if people go to jail. As long as the ends justify the means, they are not going to stop. Beware, America. There was a brief lull in this espionage after Obama brought it up to President Xi during the last two years of the Obama administration. That trend reversed itself, and now President Trump has threatened steep sanctions, so we will see what happens during these negotiations. Currently, the Chinese military no longer directs the bulk of this hacking, but the Chinese Civilian Intelligence Agency, the Ministry of Security, has taken the lead. This trend is troubling because the spy service has more seasoned hackers and they are more difficult to catch or track. Bottom line, their trade craft is much better. Again, beware America. The Chinese theft from Micron is a prime example how we lost Micron's dynamic random access memory, DRAM chip, technology to the Chinese. They hired several Micron engineers who literally brought thousands of trade sec secrets valued between four and $8.75 billion. The damage has been done. Now in an area much closer to my core business is the Copycat Air, Copycat Air Force that the Chinese have built using cyber warfare, just like our, just like our F-22 and F-35s, as well as the Russian Su-27s. It used to take 10 years for our adversaries to catch up with us. Now they do it in two to four years. So the technological advantage we used to have has been dramatically eroded. The J-20 is a cookie cutter of our F-22 and the J-31 is a cookie cutter of the F-35, all gained through cyber warfare. The initiatives taken by this administration are extremely important, but unfortunately, we have U.S. companies like Apple and Google who are working closely and voluntarily with the Chinese, especially in artificial intelligence. The Chinese, uh, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff met with Google last week to discuss this subject according to press reports. However, we haven't gotten any feedback on that. In conclusion, we have a serious challenge with the theft of our technology and IP that will determine the balance of power for us in the future. Too many administrations were being good guys and thinking that the Chinese, by increasing their wealth, they would be more democratic. Wrong. Beware America. We must protect our vital interests in technology and stop this theft. Thank you very much. <laughs>